welcome back everybody uh, we're here on another day and today i think we will work on putting some uh, corner posts in the ground i have those white oak logs that we cut out of the field a couple weeks ago and i thought we should run those on the mill see how many we can get if we can get enough for the corners of the fence around the garden and the chicken run uh, my goal is to get those milled on the mill and uh, the holes augered in the ground, laid out and then augered. And then the post in the ground, I think I'll use tar to preserve them. They're white oak, so they should last quite a while. But I think I'll use concrete and tar. We'll see how that works. Uh, should last a little longer than the cedar did anyway that we took out last week. So uh, that's kind of what's on the schedule for today. Uh, we'll get going and we'll see how much we can get done. Okay, making some uh, oak, white oak timbers for fence posts out of some of those trees we took down uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, this white oak lasts quite a while in the ground. Uh, I was hoping to get uh, four four by fours out of here, but uh, that didn't really work out. It wasn't quite big enough. So I went ahead and got like, this is like uh, four, no, about five by five and a half or six. Uh, so that, that'll be a good post. I've got uh, some other white oak. I'll bring those up here and hopefully get some corner posts for around the garden area. All right, I've got some timbers all cut now. So next step is probably going to be uh, laying out and augering the holes where these go. And then we'll have to put a little treatment on those so they last a little longer and we'll put them in the ground.
there's two done. Uh, now I need a, a straight line between these two and about four feet the other side of this one, I think I'm gonna put a gate in. So I'm gonna put another hole somewhere in here to allow for a gate. deep these holes are running uh, a little better than two feet deep maybe if you cleaned out the bottom maybe two foot six I was really hoping for around two so I'm happy with that okay we've got the two holes here for where the gates going to go the other corner down there now I'm just using the uh, square field wire uh, I don't need to pull a lot of tension on it otherwise I would go back to using the uh, three corner post and cross bracing but just for what i'm using that doesn't have a lot of tension on it i believe that a good solid corner post uh would be fine especially since we're only running you know 50 feet at a time maybe uh next one is a post down here that lines up with the other edge of the chicken coop so we can put fencing right across here so that'll be the next one Okay, I kind of changed my mind here. I think I'm gonna do this corner next because I can line up the chicken coop and everything and stretch a string, determine right there's where I need the hole. That way I can measure from this post over to there and make sure uh, it's square. So anyway, I think I'm gonna do this one next instead. Okay, that's what happens when you hit a big rock. There's a shear bolt in here uh, that goes, let's see, right in there. And you have replacements. And when that happens, it shears that bolt instead of breaking something else. So I just need to get a new bolt and put in there. And I've got several in the tractor because that's a normal thing to happen around here with all the rocks. So I'm gonna repair that. And then we should be getting back to drilling. Hopefully I don't hit that big rock again. Okay. As you can see, we have the new bolt put in there and uh, we will start it up and we'll see if we shear another one or if we can get through that rock.
was a rough one, wasn't it? It's actually dust coming out of the hole. Uh, that's that's about two feet deep, actually. Uh, it'd been nice to go a little deeper, but uh, that's not too bad considering all those rocks we were hitting down in there. Kind of see it. It just shattered some of those. So uh, anyway, we have what one more, one more I believe, or two more holes to do, and we'll be done. some rocky old ground ain't it this sure ain't iowa is it <laughs> and this is where the garden is of all things uh you definitely have your work cut out for you in the ozarks if you want a garden so uh anyway i think that's going to be good for that one it's not once again not quite as deep as i would like but uh i'm going to break a piece of equipment here if i'm not careful trying to auger these holes so i have one more to do i think i would like a gate over here to go between the garden area on the right and the outdoor chicken run on the left. So I'm gonna put another hole here and I think we'll be done augering for today. This is just regular uh, foundation tar or roofing tar. Uh, this should help. I, I built a horse barn several years back and they were just oak timbers in the ground. They weren't anything special at all. And I treated it and that's been probably at least eight or nine years ago and they're still in good condition. So this should, being white oak combined with the tar, uh, that should help it last quite a while. I'll come back 
can straighten them and put edges on them and then we'll put concrete in there. But I think I'll go ahead and get at least these three front ones in the ground. concrete I picked up today we'll throw it in the bucket over here and mix it up and then I'll pull up by each of the posts and shovel it in
Well, everybody, I'd say that was a pretty productive week this week. We got the fence rows all tore out, all the old fence posts pulled up, T-posts out, wire rolled up. We cleared the area where the wire went uh, with the tractor, got all that cleaned up, got all these briars picked up, and drilled, what, seven holes, put seven posts in. Uh, I'd say for that's a pretty productive week for me anyway when I'm trying to work and do this also. So uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, next project is probably putting the T-post in between them. And I would probably need to pick up some wire. I have a little more wire left up, down uh, in the woods, but I don't think it's enough. I'll probably have to pick up a roll of the two inch by four inch wire. Uh, I'm gonna go four foot tall and I may do a strand of barbed wire above that. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, main thing I'm trying to keep uh, dogs out and that sort of thing you know uh you're not going to keep every animal out with just a wire fence i've seen people put six foot tall fences deer just jump right over it so i'm not trying to keep the deer out uh, it'd be nice if they didn't bother my garden but uh that's almost pointless to try to spend the money that it would take to keep them out so anyway appreciate y'all joining me this week i hope y'all have a good one coming up and i hope to see y'all down the trail <laughs>